What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I got a call from a recruiter when I was at the gym. I didn't know who it was, so I swiped up and they sent me a text, sent me an email, and it was like, hey, I got this great Ruby on Rails position. I think you'd be a great fit. Looked at your resume, your resume is awesome. We want you to apply ASAP. And so I came back from the gym and I called him back and this is that video. You can see kind of how working with recruiters is they want to make their commission. I even asked him, at the end, I asked him, what should I do if someone from your recruiting company other than you calls me? Do I tell them no because I'm not, like, because I'm because I'm working with you and I don't want to, your commission to go to someone else? And he's like, oh, that's a good question. I didn't even think about that. Thanks for looking out. And I'm like, bro, come on. We have a Discord if you want to talk to me. Link for the Discord's in the description. You can check out my website if you need help with applying to jobs and resumes and all that stuff. Shout out to all the patrons that support the channel. And let's jump into this video. Hey, yeah, you uh, called me earlier today. This is Josh. You called me about a uh, Ruby on Rails position in Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. Um, how's your day going so far, Josh? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, how, how about you? Awesome. Uh, my day's pretty good, man. I'm super happy that it's Friday. Um, just give me one sec to pull up your resume. Are you interested in the position? Is that why you're calling back? Uh, there, there wasn't a whole lot of detail about it, so I'm just calling to see what the okay. details are. Um, well, it is a, uh, like I said, it's a Ruby on Rails developer position. It's for a company that is a product solution, or a material solution product. And they get eco-friendly materials uh, and build these really spectacular structures and architect design. Uh, and they're looking for somebody who's experienced in Ruby and Rails to uh, help them develop their site even further. And yeah, I think I looked at your resume and it looks pretty good if you're interested in the opportunities. Do you want to hear some more about it and we can talk for a few minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Uh, give me one second to pull up something and take some notes. What was the pay range? Um, it, so it's dependent on experience. Um, what is like your bottom line and what is your uh, like super like high end? Well, I mean, I don't really know. I was just curious to what they they wanted to pay. Uh, well, it's, like I said, it's kind of dependent on um, experience, but the average is like. 120-ish, I believe, in that area for a Ruby on Rails developer. What was the name of the company? Um, so the company is called. Okay. Uh, okay. So what are you like? What are you looking at right now? Um, somewhere in the upper 90s. Okay. Um, and what company or what are you doing right now? What's like? What company are you working for? Oh, it's called. It's not really a Ruby on Rails position, although I teach Ruby on Rails. Um, I just oh, haven't been doing. Yeah, I teach Ruby in Ruby on Rails, but I just haven't done it for a while. I did it at my very, very first job, but I've been teaching it ever since. Okay. Um, yeah, so this position is kind of like more of like a higher end experience in Ruby. They're looking for somebody that kind of goes with it like all day, every day. Are you currently like in the market looking for new jobs, or were you just kind of inquiring about this one? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say I'm in the market. I was just kind of seeing what okay. this one, because I haven't done Ruby in so long, I just wanted to check it out and see what it was like. I didn't know it was like super senior. Oh yeah, well, um, I mean, I'm always, like, I'm a recruiter, so like, I'm always having new stuff at my desk of all levels and experience. If you want, we can talk for a few minutes and I can keep your resume on file and let you know if something hit my desk. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So, um, why are you looking for a new job? Like, what's up? More responsibility, right. different stack, that kind of stuff. Okay, so you're looking for something like where you can kind of nurture your skills and start growing as a developer. Right. Let's see, what are you, what are you looking to do in your next position? Um, language, I'm kind of, I'm more of a web developer, right? So that's, I, I know most of the web development languages. Uh, I don't know Java or C or C++ or anything like that. It's not that I'm against it. I'm pretty like language uh, agnostic, you could say. But, uh, you know, depending on whatever the tech stack is, I'll learn it. It's not a big deal to me. Um, so okay. basically just web dev. Okay. I'm more of a visual person in general, so that's more fitting most of the time. Okay, awesome. Sounds good. And um, would you be looking for like a full-time hire position or a contracting? Probably full-time. Uh, I prefer okay. remote or flexible schedule if possible. Okay, sounds good. I'll definitely take note of that. Um, and so, what are you what are you currently coding with? Like, what are your top stacks right now? Currently, it's C sharp and JavaScript. Um, okay. It's a .NET stack. Um, it's not my favorite, so I wouldn't say that's my top skills. 
I say my top skills more towards just JavaScript than, than .NET and C Sharp. Okay. Awesome. Um, and what are you building with those? Or how often, or how much of your day are you spending coding with those? One hundred percent of the day is is that. Or I mean, I do some front end stuff. So some, there's some SAS, CSS, that kind of stuff in there. Um, okay. Majority of the day is spent doing that, though. It's a it's like a sandbox platform for nonprofits. Um, and so we talked about your reasons for leaving. You want to kind of new opportunities to grow and nurture your skills. What um, what are your career goals like in the next like years? What you're looking to do position wise? You trying to climb up the ranks? You trying to kind of maintain what you're doing? Give me some like a little information on that. So I really like kind of like a project management more type positions. I, I know there are like really senior technical engineers, but I'm more on like a, more of like the, I guess pro- project management, kind of like maybe lead dev. Um, okay. I enjoy working with people more than I like coding. I mean, I can code, it's good, but I enjoy working with people and making sure everything ha- everyone has what they need and that sort of stuff. Okay, awesome, that sounds good. Um, how many years of experience do you have in coding? Uh, about three. And what are you looking for in a company, like culture-wise, like leadership-wise? Are you looking for something more like uh, close-knit? Are you trying to work on like a team, or do you want like a more solo environment? Uh, myself, I mean, I'll work with a team or solo. You end up doing both, anyways. But uh, I'm, I like smaller companies, uh, larger corporations. Kind of, you can kind of get lost as a, an employee number. Uh, but I prefer okay. smaller teams, smaller companies, and uh, the culture-wise. Like, as long as they're flexible, right? Sometimes your brain just doesn't want to code, and they just, yeah, you know, you end up sitting there wasting everyone's time, so. I totally understand that. So, what, what would you say is, like, is, are some of those things lacking at your current employer? And, like, you don't really feel like you have the room to grow that you're looking for? Um, as far as, like, there's not really a whole lot of room to grow. The, the tech stack is antiquated. It's a dinosaur. Um, it's not super popular. Uh-huh. It's not super in demand. Uh, there's a lot of micromanagement going on. Uh, yeah, th- yeah. things like that. I get that. Yeah, I definitely see why you want to get out of fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, what would you say is like, do you have any like standout things that you've done, like projects you've completed, maybe hobbies that you're into, or uh, something that you're proud of, or something, anything really that like makes you stand out? I mean, I teach code, so when I'm not doing the full-time job, I'm teaching code on the side, so I know that might turn some companies off, but I feel like most companies want to want you to improve yourself, so I think that Depending on the company, they see it as a plus. Some companies see it as like, oh, it's not going to be 100% dedicated. But those companies that think that, like, you can't improve yourself when you're not working for them, like, that's, I wouldn't want to work for them anyways. But right. teaching code, probably. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's a pretty cool hobby, you know. I think it's definitely important to teach people that. It's such a huge field right now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so have you been applying anywhere else? Or have you been applying anywhere? No, I was just kind of at the gym uh, when you called me. I didn't know the number, so I swiped up and I I thought it was just like a spam bot or something. And then you oh, sent yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, you sent the email. And I was like, oh, okay, let me check this out. So well, thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate it. Sure. Um, so what are you looking to like make like competition wise? Like, what's your bottom line for a position? Probably eighty. Okay, eighty at the lowest. And yeah. Then, uh, what well, What would you say is like? super stoked to make it like oh my god I can't believe I'm making that much money it'd be like 120 probably okay it's a pretty good range I mean it's a huge range but it's like yeah (laughs) it's like uh I mean I'm not so much I don't I I mean money's nice and all right but once you hit the six-figure bracket the taxes are the same and you end up getting the take-home the same like 120 and 95,000 the take-home difference is like 25 dollars so I mean maybe on paper it's a nice little bragging right but um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not too much of a deal to me. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, can I just ask you a couple of, like housekeeping questions just to make sure we're all clear? Sure. Uh, uh, are you authorized to work in the U.S.? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever been let go from a company other than a layoff? No. Okay. Um, do you have any issues starting in two weeks following an offer? No. Okay. Um, and is there anything that would prevent you from passing a drug or physical screening? No. Okay. Um, and have you completed a, a degree? Yeah. Okay. What was what was the degree? I have a bachelor's a bachelor's in mechanical okay. engineering. It's from Europe. I'm 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 a oh, U.S. Right. citizen. Oh, yeah. It was uh, I went to school in Finland. It was it was dark a lot. It's like you know thirty dates thirty thirty nights like that movie. You know, it's like that. Oh uh, yeah! Holy crap! Yeah, that's awesome. That's probably a really great experience for you. 
Yeah, I mean, to do something like that. I think when I apply to jobs, they think people think I need a visa, and I'm like, no, 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 hold on, <laughs> I don't need sponsorship. Yeah. I'm a U.S. citizen, so I had yeah. to start putting that on my cover letter and resume real big. So I think people started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, in this industry, education is not a huge deal. I mean, it's a nice checkbox, right? You have a CS degree from yeah. Harvard Absolutely. or, or yeah. MIT. It's more but, about how much you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to Josh. Um, I'll keep your resume and, like, all these notes on hand. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for new positions. It's not just hitting my desk, like, all day, every day. Okay. So if I find something... Um, I will reach out to you and let you know, and uh, we'll be in touch from there, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, can I ask a, a couple questions? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, sure. That's no, all good. Um, if I want to, like, if there's a job offer that comes through this, is it, like, is it always contract to hire? Is it direct full-time? Am I working for cyber coders? Is that a thing? How does that, how does that work? Um, so, cyber coders, we're just the recruiters. So, you would be, uh, wherever we place you, it would be, you'd be working full-time for them. Right. So I've seen some recruiters that are like, you work for them for three months and then the job picks if they want to hire you full time. Is that, a, is that not a thing here? Yeah, no, that's not a thing. So what we do is like, well, if I'll send your resume out to a company that's interested and uh, they like you, they will set up, we'll set up an interview through me. And then once the interview process is over, it's up to them whether they want to hire you or not. And um, from that point, it's, they pay us our fee for recruiting and then from there you work with them and then we're kind of done with the deal. Yeah, so I'm pretty open to almost any web dev job as long as like, just like somewhere in the Salt Lake City Valley area, not like Lehigh or Ogden. Those are kind of like an hour drive for me, so. But um, yeah, I'll definitely keep you in mind. Um, any more questions? What should I do if another recruiter hits me up? Should I be like, sorry, I'm working with you? Um, I'm actually, uh, that's a good question. I uh, think, <laughs> I technically don't specialize in Utah usually. I'm working on like kind of a special case. Um, but so I think if it's like in Utah, yeah, you can just tell somebody like, go ahead. But um, I will, or actually, sorry about this. This is the first time I've asked if somebody's asking this question. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know you get paid yeah, commission, so I don't want you to get screwed yeah, out of that. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you picking out like that. Um, yeah, if somebody tries to reach out to you uh, for the time being, just like maybe like for the next week or so, um, while I'm looking, just tell them no. But um, I will definitely be in touch with my colleagues who work in Utah and let them know and kind of float your resume to them too. And then we'll go from there. Okay, will do. Awesome. All right, man. Have a good weekend. All right. Hey, yeah, you too, man. Take care. Yep. I appreciate it. Yep. Bye. Bye. I asked two times, what's their budget? And he asked me, what's your budget? And I said, all right, what's, what's the company's name? And he was hesitant to give me that. So now I can look up the company's name to see if they're hiring and then see if the, that company has like a salary range. And I can see it for myself and apply directly. But the, normally when they send you an email, uh, like a recruiting email, they don't tell you, they don't tell you the, the company name because they don't want you to look it up and apply directly because then they miss out on their commission entirely. So they say, hey, we have a great opportunity. And then, you know, that's that's how it works. He dodged a few questions there, but I'm not trying to be, you know, mean or anything, even though I'm not necessarily, I, I don't want a Ruby on Rails job, but that's kind of how you got to work with recruiters. You got to, you got to be a little bit uh, forward. Like I, I asked him questions and he was like, oh, I've never been asked that. So you just got to be a little bit forward. Don't get pushed around. Don't be open to too many opportunities because then they'll try to stick you to everything. So I said, mainly I'm interested in web dev stuff. You know, I'll, I'll learn it, but it depends on the opportunity, flexibility, um, you just gotta, you gotta be careful, right? Just, just be careful when you're working with these recruiters. But I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, interviews, real life, coding situations, job situations. And if you need a resume or cover letter, you know what to do. Check out my website. If you want to learn to code, there's a whole bunch of links in the description that'll get you where you need to go. And if you want to see more real life coding situations, how to get a job, how to talk to recruiters, it's all about getting you guys the job, helping you guys getting you where you need to go. So. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.